Hello, welcome to Cruise News Vlog, news briefs from the cruise industry. We open up today's vlog with a story from Cunard, who have announced the appointment of Katie McAllister as president. Katie will join Southampton-based Cunard in August after a 20-year career with TUI, where she is currently Chief Marketing Officer for both UK and Ireland. McAllister said that this was an unrivaled opportunity to join an iconic travel company at a key point in its history. She goes on to say she's looking forward to joining the team as it widens its appeal and expands its guest base whilst retaining its renowned luxury signature touches. Staying with Cunard, last month it celebrated a momentous construction milestone with the float out of Queen Anne at the Financieri Marghera shipyard in Venice, Italy. The 249th ship to sail under the Cunard flag, Queen Anne officially touched water for the first time before she will set sail on her maiden voyage to Lisbon. Weighing in at 113,000 tonnes, the 3,000 guest Queen Anne, which spans 14 decks, also boasts the largest curated art collection at sea. Entering service in May 2024, Queen Anne will make a, up a remarkable quartet for Cunard alongside Queen Mary II, Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth. It will be the first time since 1999 that Cunard will have four ships in simultaneous service. More exciting news for the newest British cruise line, Ambassador Cruise Line, who have launched the sister ship to the already popular Ambience. The new ship, Ambition, was launched and renamed by Olympic gold medalist Shirley Robertson. Three, two, one. <laughs> well, we have an absolute exciting day here because we are naming our second lady of the seas, Ambition, which is joining Ambassador Cruise Line, sailing from regional ports out of the UK to breathtaking destinations around the world. Great times ahead for this fine cruise line. From Oceana Cruises, we welcome the brand new cruise ship named Vista. The ship was launched by the celebrated Italian-American chef and Emmy Award winning food personality, Giada De Laurentiis. Here's to 20 years of Oceana Cruises. Giada, if you may do the honors. <laughs> We'll have the countdown, please. I hereby name this ship Vista. May God bless her and all who sail upon her. Without further ado, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Thank you for joining us to celebrate our newest ship, Vista. We look forward to seeing you aboard Oceana Cruises very soon. Vista was the first of two ships in the Allura class and the seventh ship to join the fleet. A beautiful ship with the usual Oceana excellent service and itineraries await. And finally, staying with launches, Virgin Cruises' third ship to join the award-winning fleet, Resilient Lady, designed for 18 plus aged guests named Sailors, has now launched and is sailing from its home port of Athens, Greece. It promises its usual iconic service to incredible spots in Croatia's coastline, Greece's glamorous islands, and a late night in Dubrovnik, giving sailors time to explore the scenic city and take part in the vibrant nightlife. Sounds great, I'm in, are you? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
That's all from me with today's cruise news log. This is Tony Parkins reporting. Until next time, bye-bye for now.